Hello guys, Skeppy Shamino here with a new video for No Rest for the Wicked. And in this video, I'm going to talk about tools, how you can acquire higher tiers, what's the difference between the tiers and all that stuff. So first of all, there are four tools in the game. That's a shovel, that's a pickaxe, that's a woodcutter axe, and that's a fishing rod. So they are very important because they are uh, the source uh, how you can get materials in this game. So they got three tiers too. So you can see it here. So I got now all silver ones. That is tier 3. You start with the copper one. That's tier 1. And then you go to the iron ones. And that's tier 2. Always remember that. So how can you acquire higher tiers? You need to upgrade your vendors. There are two vendors that are going to sell all the tools. So one vendor is selling two tools and other vendor is selling the remaining tools. What is the difference between the tiers? Very simple. First of all, you can already see the durability. A silver one got 150. And if you have a look to the copper one, is only going to get 100. So that means that you can hit a longer time with a higher tier than with the lower tiers. By the way, if you break your tool, it's gone. So never do that. So don't ignore it because if it is zero, it's destroyed. Another thing that's something that you cannot see here is that the higher tier tools got more, uh, how can I say it, are stronger. So you need to hit with a pickaxe, a silver pickaxe, a, let a lot less than with a copper pickaxe. It's just stronger. And that's something that I will show you guys a little bit later in the video. Just to say with the axe, it takes less time to hit a tree with the silver axe than with the copper axe. So where can you buy them? Because how does the system work in this game? You got a system that upgrades the vendors to higher tiers. So every vendor starts with tier 1. So that means if you come here that the vendors are only going to sell tier 1 items. That's for everything. If you upgrade the vendor to tier 2, he will sell, sell tier 1 and tier 2 items. So where do you need to upgrade the vendors? You upgrade them here. So you come here to Sacrament. So you just need to come here with the main quest. And you need to come to the main square. And there is a guy that is going to allow you to upgrade the buildings and the vendors. So you can see it here. For me, they are all almost level 3. Uh, so that's what you need to do. For every tier, to upgrade it, you need to have a higher tier of materials too. I don't think the, the clay is in that case, but you will see iron ore is tier 2. You see spruce wood is tier 2. So they always follow. Everything follows in this world. So you cannot upgrade to tier 2 with tier... Uh, no. With, to tier 3 with, with tier 1 uh, materials, so you will see that. So upgrade them here, just farm it out. Be sure that you always, if you upgrade the vendors that I'm going to show you guys now, be sure that you buy right away the tools, because it's just going to make your life faster. So don't go farming tier 3 tools with tier 1 tool. Uh, tier 3 materials with tier 1 tools. So the first vendor is the general one, but... I, d I would not buy them here because he's not always going to sell the tools. But I'm just saying it to you guys uh, that he sells the tools. Then the next one is the more important. It's the blacksmith. So the blacksmith is going to sell two tools. You can see it here. He's selling the pickaxe and he's selling the shovel. When you start the game and you unlock the blacksmith, he will sell it on the beach too. By the way, if you start on the beach... Yeah, everybody starts on the beach. So if you start a new game, in this area, you will find all the tools too. There are videos about where the position is. Just check it out. If you unlock the, the, the blacksmith, he's going to sell the tools that I just showed you guys, the copper ones. That's to get started. So you can buy here the copper pickaxe, tier 1. If you upgrade him to tier 2, you can buy the iron one. You can see it at the top right. This is tier 2. Uh, two and then if you upgrade him to tier three you can buy the silver ones and then for the other two remaining ones you need to upgrade this one this fender 
So he's sitting now for me over here. Normally he's sitting outside, but because he's level 3, he got now a shop. It's Whittaker. And Whittaker is going to sell the axe and he's going to sell the fishing rod. So once again, tier 1. Here is the tier 2. The iron. And here is the tier 3. So very simple set. Just upgrade Whittaker and the blacksmith. Uh, and every time that it's upgraded, you got you unlock a new tier of tools. Now I'm going to show you guys what is the difference. So we are going to a place that I already farmed a couple of times. And it's now in the fog of war. So that means that everything respawned. Uh, I'm going to show you guys how it works on the iron. So I'm going to show you guys the difference between a copper pickaxe. Uh, and a silver one. So I'm going now to this position and then we are going to have a look how uh, what is the difference between the tiers on the tools. Okay guys, I'm now in the nameless pass and before we go further and we are going to test the tools, not really testing, I'm going to show you guys that. Very important, always bring this with you. So let's have a look that I still got a couple of one. So they are called repair powders. So I told you guys already, if you destroy the tool or if the durability hits zero, the tool is destroyed. So always bring this. So uh, if your tool is getting very low on durability, just use it. You got tiers in those powders too. So this is a tier two. This is a tier one, I think. And somewhere I got a tier three already too. Is this a tier three? So just the same again. Bring it with you, repair powders. And you will be safe because those tools, the higher ones, they are around one silver. So, yeah, don't destroy them. So, what I'm going to show you guys now is this. So, I equipped the iron pickaxe. And I'm going to show you guys what is the difference. So, how do you need to approach it? Just keep pushing E the entire time. And we are going to count how many times that I need to hit this iron vein until it gets destroyed. One two three so that's uh three times with the iron one and now a little bit further we will get a tree here and i got now the copper woodcutter axle so let's have a look that's one two three four five six so that's three and six so what i'm going to do now is now i'm going to equip the tier 3 tools that are the silver ones. So here is the X. And here is the big X. So a little bit further. I got a tree and an iron vein again. So it was three times on the iron. So let's do it again now with the tier 3. That's one. That's two. So we went from three to one. Uh, to two. So that's a lot. And I think for the copper difference, it's even more. So therefore, always, if you can, upgrade your fenders and buy the higher tier tools. Uh, the higher tier tools. So now I'm going to show you guys it here on the tree. So that was six times, I think, or five times. So let's do the calculations again. Or let's do it again with the silver. One, two. That's a lot of difference. So that was a difference between the copper that was 6 and the silver is 2. So that's a very big uh, difference. So always upgrade them. That was it for the video guys. Uh, thanks for watching and I see you guys in next video. Bye bye.